Hi everyone. Today, sadly, is my last day in Ho Chi Minh City, and in fact, my last day in Vietnam, because tonight I'm flying home. But I do have the majority of the day before I have to head to the airport. Do you fancy getting sky high with me? I thought you might, right. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get packed, I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna store my luggage, then I'll tell you what we're up to. I did it again, just a couple of minutes ago, I looked out the, the balcony here and I thought, hmm, is it going to rain? Sure enough, it started to rain. Not a torrential downpour, but a little light shower anyway. So before I check out, I might just chill for a little while and see what happens. Hopefully it will actually be a deluge, because then it gets it over and done with for a few hours. I don't want to be miles from shelter when that happens. Well, the plan of action was to go to the Belesco Tower. I think that's how it's pronounced. Belesco Tower. It's the highest, or one of the highest buildings in Ho Chi Minh City. Great view from up there, assuming it's not been raining and there's low cloud. That scuppers that idea. For the time being, anyway. It's only 11 in the morning, so maybe this afternoon, if this cloud clears, we can go up. In the meantime, I'm going to go down to the market. Uh, I kind of brushed past that last night, and it looked pretty interesting. Today, let's go and explore it. Despite the low cloud, it is doable, but I think we'll do it after lunch. Well, I managed to get myself a watch, which is probably the nearest I'll ever get to this brand, you know what I mean. Uh, and as long as it lasts until I get home, I'll be a happy man. Another heavy downfall and a nice coffee later, and I'm feeling quietly optimistic that the worst of the weather is over, because there's some blue sky up there. Not much, but there's some blue sky. Online guides uh, suggested there was a flea market here, so I went to investigate. There are no fleas, but there are plenty of rolls of material, nuts and bolts, rubber things, and things that most tourists don't really need. So I'm not hanging around. Although I did actually discover this very interesting um, pagoda. So I'm gonna go in there and have a look. There were some tourists ahead of me and I was wondering why they didn't actually go in here. Look at that mangy looking dog. Is there an eye missing? So much for my optimism, another torrential downpour. Hey, at least I don't have to put up with that mangy dog anymore. The humidity is starting to pick up, so I think we're going to be okay. All I have to do now is find the entrance. I didn't realize there was a shopping center in there as well. This is what we're looking for. <coughs> the view from here is pretty impressive.
Overall, that was pretty good. Sorry, did someone say lunch? The Saigon Centre is actually quite upmarket. The first shop you see as you enter is Chanel and you think, okay, we know what to expect. It's kind of Korean, Japanese kind of fusion foods and things. I'm looking for street food. Wrong place. Let's go that way. I ended up in the same street as last night. Different restaurant. Vegetarian spring rolls. It's what I've been looking for for the last two hours. Seven vegetarian spring rolls washed down with a small, a small tiger beer. One thing I've noticed about Ho Chi Minh City and not Hanoi is the number of mixed couples that are here. And it is always a middle-aged to older man with a younger Vietnamese partner. I guess that's the best way to describe them. I don't have a problem with that, but I did notice that there was nothing like that in Hanoi. It just seems to be a Ho Chi Minh City thing. Maybe I should get myself a, a Vietnamese bride as well. What do you think? They are gorgeous. Okay, back at the hotel and unfortunately time to leave for the airport. I'm going to pick up my bag from the hotel and I'll see if the receptionist will actually uh, arrange a grab taxi to the airport for me. See you then. to the airport. Um, my Grab driver, Grab is the Vietnamese equivalent of Uber, he dropped me off at the domestic terminal, not the international terminal, but they're next door to each other, not a problem. I was going to catch the bus to the airport until I discovered how much the, uh, the Grab was. It's under five US dollars. Now if you book your accommodation through um, uh, sites like booking.com, Trivago, Kayak, you might get a confirmation email from your hotel saying we'll book your uh, car for you if you like. Yeah, we'll charge you about 20 US dollars for it. No need to. Okay, uh, international terminal coming up. Well, at least I've found international arrivals, so I'm getting closer. Anyway, this will end this particular video. The next one is the flight from Ho Chi Minh City via Dubai to Glasgow. It's on a Boeing 777 on both legs. Don't miss it, it could be a good one. Uh, thanks very much for your support. Thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.